What's going on YouTube? In today's video, we are going over one of the most powerful builds in all of Fallout 76. We have the full health auto axe build. Starting off with the build, these are the base stats that make up our in-game auto axe build that we're using for the video. So if you want to use the exact build I'm using, this is the start. These are the base stats without the legendary perk cards equipped. Over the normal perk cards, these are the normal perk cards that make up our full health auto axe build. Starting off in strength, we have 15 and this one can have traveling pharmacy maxed out. Weights of all kims including stim packs are reduced by 90%. We have all these slugger cards at one star to get the max amount of damage out of this weapon. We have blocker maxed out. It take 45% to less damage from your opponent's melee attacks. We have incisor maxed out. Your melee and unarmed weapons ignore 75% of your target's armor. We have martial artist maxed out. Your melee weapons weigh 60% less and you can swing them 30% faster. Over in perception, we have four and this one can have glow side at two stars. Deal plus 40% of damage to glowing enemies. We have grenadier at two stars. Your explosives detonate with twice the radius and this works with the legendary perk card collateral damage. Over in endurance, we have 12 and this one can have life giver maxed out. Gain a total plus 45 to your maximum health. We have kinfeed maxed out. Any kims you take lasts 100% longer and we are taking overdrive and fury in this video. We have fireproof maxed out. Take 45% to less damage from explosions and flame attacks. We have rejuvenated maxed out. You gain even better benefits from being fully fed and fully hydrated. Over in charisma, we have six and this one can have filled surgery maxed out. Stim packs and right away will now work much more quickly. We have strange in numbers maxed out. Positive mutation effects are plus 25% stronger if your teammates are also mutated. We have tenderizer maxed out. Make your target receive 10% more damage for 10 seconds after you attack. Over in intelligence, we have six and this one can have first aid maxed out. Stim packs restore 45% more lost health. We have makeshift warrior at three stars and this is just so our melee weapons break 30% slower. Over in agility, we have 14, and this one can have Action Boy maxed out. Action points regenerate 45% faster. We have Through Hiker maxed out. Food and drink weights are reduced by 90%, and we are carrying a ton of meat on us. We have Born Survivor maxed out. Falling below 40% health will automatically use a stim pack once every 20 seconds. We have Adrenaline maxed out. Gain a plus 10% to max 60% to damage for 30 seconds per kill. Duration refreshes with kills. Over in luck, we have 15, and this one can have Bloody Mess maxed out. 15% bonus damage means enemies may explode in a gore red paste. We have Better Criticals maxed out. Vats Critical now do plus 100% to damage. We have Ricochet maxed out. Gain an 18% chance to deflect back some of your enemy's range damage. No PvP. We have Class Freak maxed out. The negative effects from mutations are reduced by 75%. We have Starch Genes maxed out. You'll never mutate from rads and right away will never cure your mutations. And we have Critical Savvy at 1 star. Critical hits now only consume 85% of your critical meter. These are all the normal perk cards that make up our in-game auto axe build. And now let's get into our legendary perk cards. Over in the legendary perk cards, these are the legendary perk cards that make up our in-game auto axe build. Starting off in Intelligence, we have that card maxed out. We have Endurance maxed out. Out, strength at three stars, luck at three stars, collateral damage maxed out, and hack and slash maxed out. These are the legendary perk cards. Now let's get into my armor, weapons, buffs, and mutations. Over the armor, what we're using is a full set of Overeaters T65 power armor. And the reason we go to Overeaters is because it says increases damage reduction up to 6% as you fill your hunger and thirst meters, and they will be filled this whole entire time. Over the mods, what we're using for the chest is a kinetic dynamo. And the reason we're using this is because every time you get hit, it'll actually restore your action points. Over the weapons, we have two different auto axes that we're using for the video. Starting off with our first auto axe, we have the Anti armor auto axe, which is ignores 50% of your target's armor, has the 40% faster swing speed, and it also is a plus one to strength. For our second auto axe, we have the vampire's auto axe, which is gain brief health regeneration when you hit an enemy, has the 40% faster swing speed, and it also has a 90% reduced weight. Now, over in the mods for both of these weapons, we are using the electrified mod because that gives us the max amount of damage out of the auto axe. Over in all the food and kimbos that we're using for the video, starting off with our food buffs, we have Death Claw Wellington, and this gives us a plus three to strength, but if you have the carnivore mutation, it is doubled it to six. We have glowing meat steak, which gives us a plus 10% to our melee damage. We have mole rat chunks, which gives us a plus one to strength, but if you are a carnivore, you get a plus two to strength. We have mutant hound chops, which will give us a plus 10% to our melee damage. We have mutton chops, which will give us a plus 10% to our melee damage. We have mutton meat pie for a plus 15% to our melee damage. We have sting wing fillet, which gives us a plus two to strength, but since we are a carnivore, we get a plus four. And we have yao guai ribs, which gives us a plus 10% to our melee damage. Over in our kimbos, we're using overdrive to get a plus 15% to damage for three minutes. And we're stacking that with fury to get a plus a 30% of melee damage for three minutes. This is it though. This is my complete in-game full health auto axe loadout. Now let's get to some demonstrations. To begin our demonstrations with our all-powerful auto axe, I've made my way over to the West Tech Research Center and that's because there's a ton of disgusting super mutants over here that need to be vanquished. But before we do that, let me activate all of my buffs. We just gotta eat all this yummy food. There we go. Ooh, that mutant hound chops. Oh, that's so delicious. Oh, mutton chops, even better. Look at that mutant meat pie. Oh, so delicious. If you've never had that mutant meat pie, you definitely need to try it. Now, there we go. There's all the food buffs. Let me just come over here to the Kims. We got ourselves we got ourselves Overdrive. We got ourselves Fury. Make sure you take that Overdrive first, and then the Fury, or it will not stack. When it's all said and done, here's how it all looks like. Now, let's go harass these guys. This is my Vampire's Auto Axe. Let me just show you how powerful this build is real quick. Every shot that reflects off me just heals me because of Ricochet and Vampire. It's absolutely amazing, and you're almost never going to die. And also, look at this damage real quick. And he's dead. 
Yeah. Oh, no, he's not. One more sliver. There we go. Something's happening. Okay, maybe this guy. He'll die faster. There we go. Look at that. That is absolutely amazing. Now, let me just go over to my anti-armor auto axe real quick. All right. Excuse you, sir. Get the heck on out of my way. Now, a few things to note about the auto axe build. If you're in third person, you can actually sprint with the auto axe while it's still going. Look at that. How amazing is that? Now, what sucks, even though first person looks way better, like, look at this. Oh, my gosh. I can see everything finally. You can't sprint like that. There's no sprinting coming in, sadly. Nope. But they are dying, that's for sure. Excuse us. Now we're going to come up here again with our vampires. I'm going to sprint into these guys. Watch this. I'm going to get back here. All right, boys. Y'all ready? Here we go. We're coming at you. We got my chainsaw or my auto axe, whatever the heck this is. Oh my god, and the super mutants cannot withstand the power of the auto axe. Our next wasteland monstrosity on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 glowing behemoth that goes by the name Greg. And, um, Greg, I'm gonna need you to wake the heck on up. What are you doing snoozing? It's like 5 o'clock somewhere. Gosh dang. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Holy crap. He's full health again. Now we're gonna get this guy on vats, maybe. There we go. Absolutely amazing. Look at that damage, and our legendary boy is no more. For our next target on the list for the demonstrations, we've made our way to my arch nemesis of Vault 51, the level 75 Scorched Overseer that goes by the name Nancy. I'm gonna start off with my vampire's weapon real quick, that way you can see I can never die here. Is that all you've got, Nancy? Can I not be beaten? Alright, absolutely amazing. Let me just give you a couple slashes with that. That is the vampires, oh my god. Let me just kill these guys real quick. Excuse you guys. I need to kill on Nancy over here if y'all just get out of my way. There we go. Amazing. Now, Nancy, don't get into that corner. It's really hard to hit you when you're in that corner now. All right. There we go. Oh, oh my gosh. We got to get in the vats. Here we go. We're getting in vats. Okay, it's not going. There we go. Bye, Nancy now. I appreciate your service. The next Wasteland sickle on our list for the demonstrations is the level 100 Myler Queen that goes by the name Mrs. Krabs. I don't know if she doesn't hear me or what, but I'm in a giant mech behind you making lots of noises, my little queen. Get over here. There we go. It would have been very rude of me just to come up on you and start slashing you, you know? This is the longest we've talked. How have you been? How's the kids? They're doing great. Cool. Now let me just chop off your freaking legs. Bring it on, my little queen. Is that all you've got? Let me just get that face shot. There we go. Look at that damage. She cannot withstand the power of the auto axe. I think I'm getting more damage on her legs, though. There we- oh, there's the kids we were talking about. Get out of here. All right, got your mama. If you enjoy fall content like this and you want to see more, I also made a video over one of the best heavy weapons in all of Fault 76, the Plasma Caster. So if you want to check it out, I'll link in the screen right now. You see that? That is my OP Vats Plasma Caster build. <laughs>